Alright guys, this is just going to be another quick video. This one is going to be on how to set alerts based on the vision signals. Um, and I'll also show you a little quick deal at the end on how to set other alerts for uh, some other cool stuff you'll see. Okay, so on Tesla here, uh, first off, the signals are fire. Okay, uh, I don't know about you, but that made a lot of money. Um, second, so there's two ways to make alerts. Um, we can either right click either one of these signals, long or short, doesn't matter, and then click right here at the uh, add alert at the top of that menu. Make sure this is always set to vision, um, and then you'll have the choice to do a long signal, a momentum signal, and a short signal. Um, and then right underneath that is going to be when you want that alert to trigger. So only once means it's only going to alert you once, and then it's going to basically delete itself. So it won't alert you anymore on that. So <clears throat> uh, you might think about maybe choosing a different one depending on maybe if you're just going to use this for today um, or if you want this thing to be just a continual alert and keep going. Um, so once per bar is only going to alert you once per candle. So if a uh, signal's flashing, this is mainly for like a small time frame, like one minute, five minute. I wouldn't necessarily use this on like a four hour or anything for swing trading um, that's only going to be honestly for like one five uh, max I would say 15 minute and then once per bar close again I would only use that on something like a one three five fifteen at max um, time frame uh, because on a four hour swing um, you know I want that thing to blow me up um, and let me know that that alert or that signal is still on that four hour candle uh, so once per bar close is going to be basically if it gets the long signal and it closes and locks that signal in and goes on to the next candle then it's going to alert you when that signal is there at the close of that candle now once per minute <clears throat> personally that's what I like to use because it just if that signal is there every 60 seconds it's going to let you know about it yes it is a lot um, but like I said on a four hour swing or something I want to know what's going on if I'm not sitting there watching that chart so that's it's a really good way to know what's going on if you're out eating dinner with the family out grocery shopping or if you just don't if you're at work or you don't want to sit there and watch the charts um, you can get a little alert every minute to your phone uh, and let you know that you know your long is still in play <clears throat> um, you're still good to go and then you know four hours later or the daily chart or whatever you're swing trading on uh, it'll let you know and it, it can work for you on 15 minutes the same way too that way you know that that long signal is still there uh, if a few minutes passes and you don't get a an alert or a buzz in your pocket then you know you might want to go check the chart or something tell the boss you gotta go to the bathroom um, <clears throat> so moving down if we click open ended off here that means on this date that alert will expire and it'll kill itself and delete itself out of your alert log. <clears throat> um, I like to keep that on until I delete it myself personally. Uh, notify on the app, that means it's going to notify you on the TradingView app. Um, then the show pop up is usually just here in the desktop window. It'll kind of pop up in the middle of the screen there. Send an email. Uh, you can use that if you want. Um, you know, with emails, a lot of stuff gets drowned out these days with emails. So, uh, and then if you want to, you can have this uh, <coughs> send email to SMS, so that's going to be <coughs> sending the email to a text message. Uh, honestly, you don't need that. If you have the mobile app, that mobile app is going to be alerted way faster than that SMS text because that's got to go through probably a few different um, a few different things just to get to your cell phone's text messages. So, I would just download the app if you are going to be mobile and using these alerts for that reason. Uh, the uh, the app is is basically instant. As soon as that uh, signal is on there and you get an alert set on it, it's gonna notify your app and it, very quickly. <clears throat> if you have something like an Apple Watch or something, they'll also pop up on there. So it's super super handy to have these alerts set up. <clears throat> um, these are just the uh, alarm sounds that'll go off in your desktop. Uh, if you really want to know <clears throat> when something is happening. A long signal short signal or whatever I would suggest the fault tone um, but keep it turned down because it is very loud and it'll you'll you'll know when that alerts going off 
uh, and then the five seconds, <clears throat> um, you can kind of play with that and see how long you want that alert to go off. And then you hit create. Now the thing to remember when you set the alerts, you see that I'm on a five minute uh, time frame there. And then you want to make sure <clears throat> that whatever you have your risk and sensitivity settings to is what you want that alert to send you based on. So if you have this on something, you know, and you got the gambler setting on for the risk, it's going to alert you based on that gambler setting and based on the time frame on which you set that alert. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I mean, over here with the little alarm clock cooking deal, you can come over here, um, and this is where your alerts are. You can come up here to the little alarm clock with a plus that say that says create alert. You can click that; it'll bring it up again. Make sure at the top that's on vision. Um, when you create the alert, <clears throat> that way you get the parameters of the long momentum and short signals. Uh, that's pretty much it on how to set the set the alerts. And when the alert when an alert goes off, you'll see it down here in the alerts log uh, section. Um, and then if it's in the alert log, you can click it, and then it'll automatically take you to that chart, to that time frame with those settings already on it. So if you're changing stuff around, no worry. Whenever you hit this, it'll reload this chart. However, you have the alert set. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is some cool stuff you can do with alerts. So, say we got the RSI. That is not what I wanted to put on there. Um, let me go back here. RSI, Relative Strength Index. Make sure it's a built-in. If you do, man, it does not want to go on there. Let's see here. Okay, so now that we have the RSI on here, relative strength index, say we want an alert when this thing goes under, when Tesla goes under 30 RSI on the five minute time frame. <clears throat> so we put a line right there at the 30, 29, 92, close enough. Then we right click our line that we put there and it says add alert on horizontal line right there at the top. Um, and so now we can choose whether we want it to be crossing up crossing down greater than less than so on this I want to know when it's going below that line so I'm gonna put less than again I'm gonna choose the once per minute because I want to know and make sure that I'm notified when it does create alert that simple now we can go over here we can see it uh, relative strength index now I'm gonna know whenever Tesla on the five minute comes under 30 RSI which is a very good buy zone so if you would have got down here waited for the next long signal <clears throat> kind of came in late right there but just holding it through those few minutes uh, <clears throat> to you know up here or whatever you wanted to sell at would have definitely proved very good there's you know a $20 run in that so on an options call I mean that would have made uh, a good bit there but uh, same way with the with the 70 if I want to know when this thing's going oversold we put another line there we right click it um, crossing uh, I want to know when it's going greater than so once per minute create alert and now once this thing crosses over the 70 RSI I'll know about it and so maybe we can grab some puts or something here <clears throat> and run this thing down um, and then if you want to get rid of the alerts you can just come over here hit the hit the X beside them there after you hover on them um, you can you can also set these alerts in mobile you just have to uh, find that little alarm clock on the phone and uh, then set the alerts that way okay so another thing I'll show you guys real quick um, let's see let's see we can use the alerts uh, to we can use like a horizontal array okay and so uh, right off the open here it made this made this high right so we come down so say we're we're trading a breakout strategy big strategy a lot of people use it say we want to know when this thing's about to break out or is breaking out over this high right here so we're gonna put a horizontal line right there we might extend it a little bit um, <clears throat> so now we want to know when this thing is breaking out and you know if we're mobile so I'll probably move that down you know probably right here uh, to right above the body of that candle and so we want to know when this thing's coming up above it so we can maybe get in there get in that breakout get a little run and and get some profit um, you can hit that add alert right there, uh, but I choose usually just to right click it. Uh, right click add alert <clears throat> on the horizontal ray right there. We're going to go to vision, or no, we're going to keep it on whatever that is right there. Uh, we want the crossing, we want to know when it's greater than. So we're going to do the greater than. Um, 
and then we're going to do once per minute because I want to be alerted and make sure that I'm alerted when it's going off. Make sure we're notified on the app, etc. Uh, we can choose our, our notification here on the desktop if you want to, uh, if you're on the desktop, and then create alert. So now, when this candle uh, or when this chart is coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and it's getting ready to break out, you know, as Tesla does, we'll know about it as soon as it crosses that right there. We'll know about that. We can come over to the chart. We can jump in here real quick, ride this wave, sell up here. We're out. We made a bunch of profit, most likely, you know, on Tesla. So, um, <clears throat> so this is that simple. Um, like I said, make sure you have it set on the time frame that you want to be alerted on your risk and sensitivity settings that you want to be alerted on, and then and then after the, after you set the alert, you can go on and you can change the settings or flip back and forth to whatever stock or whatever you're trading forex. Uh, whatever you're doing <clears throat> and then you can always come over here hit that alert that pops up in here and it'll bring you back to the chart that you had set you know on the five minute with the you know let's say very high very low settings uh, with vision and it'll be right there for you so